you like to have a clean boat, don't go catfishing. Well, the nice thing is, instead of bouncing around in big waves and white caps on a big lake chase, trying to chase down a walleye, we're tucked down inside the riverbank here. The wind might be blowing 30, but uh, we're not bothered at all. It's a good hiding place. Catfishing is basically hook, line, and sinker. Very seldom does it get more involved than that. Although, as always, you can fine tune your components. You need a nice range of things that will cover your whole uh, gamut of conditions you'll face. Starting with these flat river sinkers, thread your line through, put a bead on the back, and then put your leader on here. Uh, these will lay on the bottom and they won't get swept away and they won't roll in the current, so it'll keep your bait right where you're positioned. We have a whole array of different hook sizes here. This, these are all the classic J-style or octopus hook as a VMC example. They are, they're running up to about 6 ot in size, which sounds like a really big hook, but we're, we're into some really big fish today. Here's our tournament circle hook, which is the hook that works so well for still fishing when you just have your rod in a holder and you wait for the fish to pull on the line and they basically they will hook themselves. We've got some nice barrel swivels in here. Last but not least, here's the model line that we're using. Suffolk Siege in, in 25 pound test neon tangerines. Such a special place and it's such a fun thing to do. It's relaxing. It doesn't require a tremendous amount of tackle. Just a few simple things. Cats are a good time. You betcha. Let's get them back.